Hey, what's up everyone? So I had some concerns when I'm transporting my e-bikes on back of my wife's vehicle on the bike rack. And if you guys had the same concerns I did, which I'm gonna go over here with you guys in a minute, you might wanna stick around and check out some of these accessories that I purchased to protect my bike when I'm transporting it. Now, the one main concern that I had was rain. When I have the bikes behind the car and the roads are wet and it's kicking up all that extra dirt and grime behind the vehicle or just rain in general getting the bikes wet when I'm transporting them I wanted something to be able to withstand wind and also to be able to cover the bikes to keep them out of sight in case we stop somewhere real quick to grab a bike to eat or something that the bikes weren't visible you know displaying expensive electric bikes on back of our vehicle so I wanted something to cover them up that could withstand the wind and the rain and also like i said protect them going down the road also wanted to be able to make sure that the brake lights were able to be seen while transporting the on the vehicle because a lot of times depending on how your bike mounts on back of your vehicle your lights will be covered and also your license plate which i haven't really figured out a a, a way to actually remount the license plate yet but this is at least going to resolve my concern about not being able to see the brake lights. And later on, like I said in this video, I'm gonna install the bikes on the rack and use this cover to cover them. That way we could see how it fits, what size might be right for all of you if you guys were interested in this. Now, uh, specifically, I wanted a transportation cover because they are a little bit more heavy duty. I wanted something with a good warranty and something that was gonna withstand. So I went ahead and tried out the uh, Team Obsidian uh, bike cover now these come in three different sizes which are nice uh, large for one bike and extra large which is what this is for two bikes and they just came out with an extra extra large which is for three bikes I decided to go with this one because we have two two electric bikes even though I have a four bike bike rack if I needed it um, normally at this point we just throw my kids small bike in back of the car and just put the e-bikes on the rack so this is the first thing like I said we're gonna be doing a size comparison on, on this how it fits with the two bikes now one of my main concerns about using one of these covers is securing it on the back so that it's not all flopping around and everything and what I decided to do was get a truck cargo net to cover the cover once it's on now this thing I'll show you guys here why it's a little bit cumbersome later on but we're gonna see if this thing works pretty good. I might even throw the GoPro on back to cargo for ride just to show you guys how it hold, you know, how it's gonna keep the cover from flapping around. But this is what I decided to purchase. Now this thing's pretty big. It's six by eight and stretches to eight by 12. So that would definitely cover two bikes, no problem. But uh, show you guys what this looks like on there in a little bit. Now, what's also nice about this Team Obsidian cover and one of the reasons why I purchased it is it does have a two year warranty, which is awesome, but if you, follow the directions that they send you when you get this cover you can actually extend that warranty to five years so i don't know of any other covers that give you a five-year warranty um, that's pretty awesome and they also send you if you apply for the five-year warranty a little uh, led light that you can use on the back of your bike which has a few different modes and i actually used this thing the other night when i got stuck down in town and it got and now that it's getting dark early so this is a nice little uh added bonus that they send you now the only one downfall to this is you have to take out these four little micro screws in the back if you want to change the uh batteries in it they're not it's not rechargeable or anything but like i said i only use it in extreme situations if i get stuck in the dark and want some added uh added nighttime safety so that's a nice little bonus that they send you and the third thing that i purchased was these little lights here made by Kurt and they are auxiliary LED indicator lights. And basically what these do is they have a sticky back adhesive on the lights, 3M adhesive that you could stick to each side of your bike rack on the, I'm thinking on the wheel holders on mine. Um, and then this will plug into your trailer hitch plug. It has a, a four plug connection on it. And I'll show you guys that here when I, when I install this. And what this will do is it will extend your brake lights out to wherever, you know, to these little LEDs here. And they're um, probably about, I didn't measure them, probably six or seven inches long, each, each light on each side. And this will be your new brake lights and uh, turn signals. It will display on these. Now, these are also good for, I have a platform uh, mount rack on the, that I could put on the back of the vehicle for like coolers and stuff. I also thought about buying another set for that as well in case I have coolers and stuff stacked up on the back and the tail lights are blocked. So 
this is a nice little accessory, I think, in my opinion. It's, it's one of the sleekest uh, kits that I could find that I thought would work pretty well. So, like I said, we're going to check this out. That's if I could find my wife's plug for her, because I, I never installed the uh, plug for her uh, hitch because we only use it for bicycles. So we'll see if we can get this hooked up and show you guys what it looks like. But I'll put links below to all this stuff. They're going to be affiliate links. So if you guys do use these links, I will make a small commission. And that's what helps this channel producing this content for you guys. But I will put links to all these accessories and all the other e-bike accessories that I recommend down below in the description of the video. And if you guys, I, I've got a lot of comments that you guys don't know how to find the links. Next to the title of the video, there's a little arrow. If you click that arrow, it opens up the description of the video and it shows all my links down in there. So appreciate you guys watching and let's go ahead and get into seeing how this cover is going to fit. So thanks for watching guys. If you find this video helpful or interesting, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get notified of future videos. Stick around, check out some of my other videos and let's go ahead, get these bikes put on the hitch and see how this cover looks. All right guys, so I got the bikes mounted on the rack and basically these lights, I originally thought about mounting these, these lights on each holder here. Um, I'm probably gonna have to maybe zip tie them on if I decide to do that. But I thought, like I said, putting one on each side, each side here, and that would give you the brake lights and tail lights back here. Now, there was an issue with these, actually two issues. Um, one being my wife's car. Like I said, I haven't installed the adapter yet for the trailer hitch. And after Googling it and doing some research, I gotta tear out a couple panels in the car to get to the plug so I could plug the trailer adapter into that to give me the four port uh, trailer plug to be able to plug these in. So I'm not gonna be able to plug these in today to her car and show you. Um, and I'm also, I was gonna plug them into my truck to show you guys what they looked like, but there was an issue when I unpackaged these. I noticed that the cord is actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's kind of like melted together here on the trailer adapter part. So that was a manufacturing defect. So I'm gonna have to contact Kurt and see if I can get a replacement for this and hopefully they can uh, just send me another one. But anyway, uh, like I said, I was gonna attach them there. Now, I also might just, after I get the bikes on and the netting on, I might just see how they maybe maybe slide them behind the netting or zip time to the netting or something. If, if, I, if I go that route, that way I can just zip time on each time I use the net. Uh, I don't know yet, we'll see. Once I get the cover on, we'll see what it looks like. The cover on, I got my wife here to help me because it's it, it might be a little bit cumbersome with one person, but they give you a nice carry bag for it. And these are, act, this is actually meant for full size bikes, so there should be no issue with it covering these. Um, it, they do give you two little uh, handles here to help you install it. Uh, they're, the other one is right here. So two little handles, which is nice, but they're only on one side. So go ahead and take that. Now these stripes are meant to go, I guess, over each bike to help you line it up. So like I said, this is the first time of having the cover on here. So we're gonna see, see how it looks. And I got the handlebars on these both these electric bikes um, all the way down. So actually, I could have left them up some, but you can see there it covers them fine. Uh, now they do have drawstrings in the center that you could tighten, and then they have the straps underneath that you you buckle and tighten the underneath. So actually, it looks like with the way that this. The way that these bikes fold pretty tight, I actually might even be able to cover if I put the the other piece of my four bike rack on and I had my kid's small bike on here, I might actually be able to cover it as well. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't go with the extra, extra large because I don't think I, I really would have needed it because these electric bikes are a little bit smaller, I think, in size than a standard bike, you know, because a standard bike's probably taller. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottoms strapped, pull these tight, and then we'll see how the netting goes. I guess so I got both straps on the bottom clipped underneath and I got them pulled completely tight. Now where I was originally going to mount the lights, I don't think it's going to work because then I'd have to worry about this not covering the, the rails. I mean, I could probably make it so that the, the, the lights would show, but I would rather just leave it like this for now. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull these center, these center cords tight, which will tighten up the center of the cover. 
and there's four of those in the middle two on the front two on the back so yeah that actually took a lot of the a lot of the slack out right there that was nice and then there's also some on the bottoms so there's one there so there's one on the bottom on each side that tightened it up pretty good around the around the wheels so yeah actually I'm really uh, surprised of how well that tightened without anything without that netting on it doesn't actually look too bad being able to tighten it with just these so now I'm going to show you guys the uh, that's actually not too bad you might not even need this this bungee but like I said if, if I went on a long trip if I went on a short trip I probably wouldn't worry about it but if I went on a long trip I'd probably want to put this on here just for extra security so let's go ahead and see how this thing's gonna look now uh, earlier I said this thing's a little bit cumbersome and this is why these hooks all get stuck on this net so here. so when you're trying to untangle this it's just a big ball of mess trying to get it untangled sort of so it does take a little bit of time now they they do make the ones that come with the d-rings which might be a little better because then d-rings wouldn't get stuck on each other or the, the little carabiners i mean i mean it's not too bad to untangle but it does take a little bit of time especially if you were trying to do this with one person so you just got to try to get these unhooked Now in the future I may put some kind of zip ties or something on these corners just so I know which ends the long end and short end just for some sort of reference. But basically um, it's this thing stretch is pretty big. I went with the real big one. They do make a smaller one but we're going to stretch this over here. Try to find some place to hook us on the back and then bring the fronts down and maybe find a place to hook, hook those. Sorry about that guys, my mic came unplugged and it broke my little piece off that goes into my wireless mic so I had to go find another one so hopefully audio is good now but anyway guys you can see basically I just wrapped that thing around hooked it anywhere I wanted just to get the, this on there and uh, looks pretty nice and tight and secure now now like I said it's a little bit cumbersome if you were going on a short trip uh, you probably wouldn't need it but if you're going on somewhere you know like a pretty long trip or going to keep your bikes covered for a while i would definitely recommend getting one of these nets as well to put that on there now as far as these lights go uh let's see how they would maybe work in the netting now you could always once you put this on if you were going on a pretty far trip maybe uh zip tie it onto the onto the net you know that would probably work then just run your wires down through into your car but on a long trip that would definitely work uh, being able to just zip time onto this netting and uh, everything would be good now this cover also one thing i want to mention it does have some holes i don't know if you've seen them the little silver holes you could run like a chain or something through there if you wanted to secure this cover down uh, even though somebody could cut it off with a pair of uh, maybe scissors or a knife or whatever but that would keep people from being able to just lift the cover right off you could run your your uh cable or chain through there when you lock your bikes to the rack but in my opinion i think it looks pretty good especially the cover being on just to keep the bikes you know out of sight people don't really know what they are you know they don't know that it's an expensive 900 hundred dollar e-bike or should i say inexpensive for an e-bike at 900 bucks and one thing that i did not mention guys that i don't want to forget is about the license plate now it's probably illegal everywhere to be driving down the road like this because your license plate cannot be seen so you're going to want to if you're going on a trip like this and you have your license plate blocked you're probably going to want to figure out a way to maybe install your license plate back here maybe behind the netting zip tied on as well or something I, I mean i don't know i haven't really thought too much about that yet um, the square tube for the rack is here maybe getting something made to go in that square tube here and just keep it uncovered and come out and then be able to mount the plate on that would be pretty neat as well um, i don't know uh, bunch of different things to think about but like I said wanted to address that issue with the license plate as well uh, if you guys are interested in the rack here that I got these mounted to I will put links to that in the description as well as always uh, there are affiliate links but in all my videos I put links to everything that I use and 
have tested and recommend so make sure you guys check out those links and now i got the gopro mounted on the back we're gonna go for a ride here down the road at least you know 60 70 miles per hour maybe and see how this cover holds up as far as wind goes so see you guys here in a second I guess I get up to about 60 miles per hour here and you can see that this cover stays on pretty good it's not flopping around too much at all now I did notice that the bike cover does grab the wind more and does put a little bit more stress on the bike rack but in a scenario where it's going to rain or you want to keep the bikes out of sight I think this is a perfect option now on short trips I'll probably just throw the bike cover and the netting in back of the vehicle and throw it on if it's calling for rain or begins to rain but on long trips I'm definitely probably going to be covering the bikes like this before I leave all right everyone so there's what the team obsidian bike cover looks like going down the road I hope you guys found this helpful please make sure you put a comment below or if you have any questions make sure you comment it really helps my channel out a lot and don't forget the links are down in the description the affiliate links if you guys are interested in any of these items that I've shown you here today or any other items on my bike so thanks for watching guys if you found this helpful make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss my next video trust me you're not going to want to miss it thanks for watching I will definitely see you on the next one definitely don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys